Okay, so now we, we're we going to um, do another titration. This one is definitely um, um, a, an A-level uh, titration. And this is how you, you would actually do this. So it says here, what the, the whole idea of this titration is this, right? We are going to find out the concent determine the concentration of an unknown solution of nitric acid. And this is how you do it. Um, now, in so what you'd get is you get 26, 2.76 grams of sodium carbonate transferred to a volume 250 volumetric flask. Now, we've never used a volumetric flask before, but this is a volumetric flask, okay? Um, and you will be using these next year. And you can see it says 250 mil. We don't use mils, we always use centimeters cubed, but uh, anyway. Um, <coughs> You, if you look carefully, you can see there's a little mark there, okay, a little glass, a little ground glass mark. And what you need to do is you need to add the liquid until your meniscus is just sitting just on top of that mark. So there's, you want your meniscus and it will look kind of like that, like a U-shaped thing, and that's got to sit on. So once you've done that, then you've got exactly 250 centimeters cubed in the flask. You've got 250 centimeters cubed of solution. So it's a it's a it's a very accurate way of measuring volume. Um, you would never use a measuring cylinder for this purpose because measuring cylinders are not they're only accurate to within um, a five percent or something. Where this is a lot more accurate. This is a volumetric flask. Okay, so this gets what what here what they're doing here is they if you they've got like. Two, 2.76 grams of sodium carbonate now this is better because remember in the previous example uh, in the previous example what we did was we transferred a a much smaller mass directly into the conical flask and i think it was 0.38 grams in the last one now you can't measure 0.38 grams you can't measure terribly accurately because your percentage error of the balance is the balance isn't that accurate it's only accurate to plus you know to that uh, 0 0.01 plus or minus 0 0.01 gram um, so there's actually a reasonable big error measuring that mass you get away if you're measuring 2.76 grams then the percentage error is very small so you're measuring your mass very accurately and the other example the other the other advantage of, of you doing this is of course you can do this multiple times because um, in this experiment yeah you have got this and you can just keep pipetting out 25 centimeters cubed at a time into your um, into your conical flask and doing the titration so you can do it um, well you could actually do it 10 times couldn't you? you you get 10 lots of 25 out of 250 but you probably only have to do it three times and then you get an average value okay so let's get on with and doing this I'm going to rub this out now um, Uh, I don't think I can rub that out, so I'm going to have to do that. That's gone. Right. So let's um, let's just draw a little picture of what we're going to do. Then I always like to draw a little picture. So we are going to get um, uh, a volumetric flask. How much are we going to put in there? Well, let's look at this. It says um, 2.76 grams. So we've got 2.76 grams of sodium carbonate. I'm going to make that up to 250 centimeters cubed. So this is 250. We're going to take 25 of that out. So that's a tenth of that, isn't it? And we're going to put that into a conical flask. And then we're going to titrate that against the nitric acid, which is going to go in the burette. Here's the nitric acid. Uh, HNO3. Do we know the concentration of that? No, we don't. That's what we're trying to find out. Do we know the volume of that? Yeah, we do. It's 27.2. 
centimeters cubed. Okay, so let's see. Uh, now let's have a look at the equation now. So look, we've got one mole of uh, sodium carbonate reacts with two moles of nitric acid. It's a one to two ratio again, so we have to be careful with that. Uh, we're gonna need two equations here. We're gonna need um, concentration is equal to moles over vol in dm cubed, and then our old favorite, we're also gonna need uh, moles is equal to mass over MR. Right, so let's have a look here. Can we work out the moles of the nitric acid? No, we can't because we own know, only know the volume, we don't know the concentration, so that's a non-starter, so that's no good. Can we work out the moles of the sodium carbonate? Well, we can do, because we know the mass and we know the MR of sodium carbonate, which we, in the last, the MR of that is 106. Right, but we've got to be careful here because this is the moles of sodium carbonate we've got in 250. So I'm gonna write this down. So moles sodium carbonate, in 250 centimeters cubed is equal to mass over MR, which is 2.76 over 106, which is equal to on my calculator. Point zero two six zero. Okay, point zero. 260 and there are numbers after, numbers after that so I've left them in my calculator but I'm not going to write them all down okay so that's the moles of that so um but we this is in 250 whereas here we're only taking 25 centimeters cubed out for the titration so therefore we're going to say therefore the moles of sodium carbonate in 250 and 25 sorry is going to be equal to that divided by 10 isn't it the amount so that's going to be 0 0.026 dot 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 over 10 which is equal to 2.60 times 10 to the minus 3. okay now we go to what the equation here and just remind ourselves yeah it's one mole of sodium carbonate to two moles of nitric acid so we're going to say how many moles of nitric acid have we got moles of hno3 is equal to uh, two times 2.60 times 10 to the minus three, which is equal to 5.21 times 10, because I said it's, I've left the numbers in my calculator, so it's 5.21 times 10 to the minus three moles of, of nitric acid. Now can we work out the concentration of the nitric acid? Well we can do concentration is equal to the moles over the volume. Um, the number of moles we've got is 5.21 times 10 to the minus 3 and the volume we have got well that was this 27.2 centimeters cubed which is equal to 0 0.0272 dm cubed. Um, Okay, and that's going to be equal to right point one nine one five dot, 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 mole per decimeter cubed, and we should give our answer to three significant figures because all the data is given to three significant figures, so it's point one nine two moles per decimeter cubed. Okay, so that is a typical um, A-level um, titration calculation, the, one of the more basic ones, where you've, what we've done here is you, you make up a solution in a volumetric flask, this thing here, this is the volumetric flask, you make up, it's usually 250, not always, and then you take out 25 centimeters cubed that, and then you titrate that. Um, and you have to use this procedure. Now, in this case, we were working out the concentration of the nitric acid. 
um, sometimes you and we, we you might be the other way around. So you might know the concentration of the nitric acid, and you might be. And in the next video, I think we'll do this. We'll we'll see. Right, we've got sodium carbonate, and you say you had a certain mass of it. This is impure. Okay, and you can work out what is the purity of your sodium carbonate by doing this process. Same process, really, but slightly different unknowns. So that will be the next video. Okay.